On the Everton Stadium, we like to consider that we've built it twice. Um, once virtually on screen, as you can see in sort of a simulated environment, and then also physically on site afterwards. And the real benefit to doing that is that we can um, mitigate any risks prior to actually going on site. Um, and that saves time, cost and risk on site. It's a team effort in that the entire supply chain contribute to this model. So all of the different um, disciplines, such as your mechanical and electrical, your structural and your architectural disciplines, they all create their own 3D models and then they submit them or issue them to us and we combine them into this master federated model, which is what you're seeing on screen. Um, and then what we're able to do from that is coordinate and the different disciplines can make sure there's no clashes between their two designs. We're able to um, coordinate the works between the disciplines and then increase that accuracy as the design progresses. So using the, the 3D model environment, we're able to um, position light sockets, um, lights, furnishers, fixings, um, and we can basically move them around to suit the design. On the south stand, the roof trusses are starting to go in and you can see the assembly area on the pitch. Every week um, in our immersive space, we hold um, a logistics team meeting where we get all of the operatives on site to come into um, the room and we run through week by week what's going to be happening on site and we can adapt to changes in logistics. Um, what you might see in industry is the model being linked to the programme and then that shows you the sequencing of the build. But on Everton, we're starting to include other things like you can see the cranes um, and the laydown areas. And then this really helps us drive what are we going to do on site and how are we going to coordinate different pieces of work. It definitely takes away the risk and provides certainty um, in the design.